Today I've got a nice number puzzle type problem. I really like these types of problems. I think you've probably noticed because I do quite a bit of them on the channel. So our goal is to find a three digit number. So we'll write it like X, Y, Z with a line over it. So what we mean by that is that's 100X plus 10Y plus Z and X, Y, and Z come from the set zero to nine because the digits of a number written in decimal notation can only be between zero and nine. Furthermore, we'll impose the condition that X and Z are not equal to zero. And that's because our goal is to find the three digit number satisfying this blue boxed equation. And that is nine times that three digit number is equal to two times the three digit number with the digits mixed up a little bit. Notice here we have Z, Y, X. In other words, the hundreds digit and the ones digit has been switched or have been switched. Okay, and just to reiterate, X and Z are not equal to zero. That's because we definitely want to have a three digit number on both sides of this equation and that'll force that. Okay, so let's maybe get into this and see what we've got. So we can take this blue boxed equation and rewrite it using our decimal expansion as follows. This is gonna be nine times 100X plus 10Y plus Z is equal to two times 100Z plus 10Y plus X. But now we can move some things around. It's not too hard to see how we can move some things around and we'll get 898X plus 70 times Y equals 191 times Z. So look, we've got 900X, we can subtract 2X from what's happening on the other side of the equation. And then similarly for Y, and then it's kind of natural to put Z on the right hand side. And now I wanna start using some fairly elementary arguments. So let's first notice that the left hand side of this equation is most definitely even. So 898 is an even number, so is 70. But that implies that the right hand side must also be even because the left hand side equals the right hand side. But notice 191 is odd. That tells us that Z must be even. Notice if Z is odd, that makes the right hand side odd and that would be a problem. Now we're gonna do some quick calculations to get some size ranges for the left and the right hand side of this equation. So let's first notice that if we set X equal to two, then that makes the left hand side of the equation bigger than or equal to 898 times two. So that's pretty obvious. We just left off the 70 times Y, but 898 times two is 1796. Okay. And now let's notice that since Z is even, the largest Z can be is eight. So let's see what happens if Z is equal to eight. That makes the right hand side exactly equal to 191 times eight. But we can calculate that out real quick and see that we have 1,528. But notice that's a problem. In this setup right here where we have X equal two and Z equal eight, we have the left hand side is strictly bigger than the right hand side, which like I said, is bad. And that's gonna continue not just for X equals two, but that's gonna be true for all X bigger than or equal to two. Okay, well, what does that tell us? X is not allowed to be bigger than or equal to two, which tells us that indeed X must be equal to one. Okay, but if we know that X has got to be equal to one, then that's going to start simplifying this equation. So notice now we have eight, nine, eight plus 70 Y is equal to one, nine, one Z. Because again, we know that X is equal to one. And now we look at this and see that the left hand side is at least 898, which means the right hand side has to be that large as well. 
which tells us we have to pick certain values of z. Well, you can check really quick that 191 times 4 is indeed equal to 764. Notice that is too small. That's less than 898. And that would be like the z equals 4 case. So let's see, z has to be even, z equals four is too small. That means that z is either equal to six or z is equal to eight. Now we can make a bit of a shortcut argument. Notice that the ones digit of this is equal to z. That's because we're multiplying by 191. Whereas the ones digit of the left hand side is obviously equal to eight. Well, that's because 70y has zero for the ones digit, so we get this eight. Well, what does that tell us? Immediately, we know that z must be equal to eight. So now we've got x is equal to one, z is equal to eight, and that is gonna collapse our equation to 70 times y is equal to 630. Again, that's just plugging these values up here. That's pretty easy to do. But notice that that gives us that y must be equal to nine. So we've got x is one, y is nine, and z is eight. So our final answer is the three digit number 198. And that's a good place to stop.